What's going on guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? And what I have for you today is an app review of an application called Dolphin. Now, this is not a game. This isn't a, a fun application to play with. Uh, but this is a Dolphin browser, an, an internet browser. Now, what this browser uh, does is that it, it, it's basically a, a internet browser. So you can search the web, go on websites and all that. Uh, fancy stuff, but the uh, Dolphin claims that they are the most fastest uh, mobile browser uh, for the iPhone. And th this, to me, this was very similar to Mobile Safari uh, since I switched out of Mobile Safari to use Opera Mini, but I'll get to that later on in the video. Before I get on with the review, let's take a look at what their description actually says. Okay, so this is their description. So, the new features they have, first of all, they say that Dolphin Browser is the fastest, easiest, and most fun mobile browser. Over 10, I don't even know what that is, <laughs> 10 million total downloads, number two on CNET's 100, and blah, 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 okay. New features, save passwords, forget input the same password, okay. Autocomplete, Dolphin Sunner, uh, Dolphin Connect and of course Dolphin Sutter listens to you so the, their description they pretty much just uh, get you an idea of what you can use this application for and they just explain some of the features alright so after reading the description let's actually take a look at the user interface for this browser right here so what you have is for your home page first of all when you open up the app for the first time let me just slide this to the uh, next page. Oh, never mind. No, sorry about that. So this is actually the home page you will uh, see with your own eyes once you open the app for the first time. Uh, as you can see, you have Twitter, Facebook, TechCrunch, Wall Street Journal, and PC Gamer uh, as for uh, your bookmarks on the first page. And then you slide to the left, you have all your speed dial uh, websites right here. So there's free apps, Facebook, Twitter, Google, YouTube, Amazon, and this plus sign right here. You can pretty much add another uh, what website uh, to your speed dial. Very similar to Opera Mini. Now, if you put your finger all the way to the left and then you uh, you slide to the right, you get all your other options right here. So yeah, browsing history, Dolphin Home, Dolphin Features, Dolphin Blog. Wikipedia, YouTube, uh, IMDB, Bing, Weather Channel, and Amazon. And of course you have your star button right here which is basically uh, to con connect your device to other devices that uh, have the same application in order to save all your bookmarks so it'll it's basically syncing all through your uh, devices and you can connect it with Facebook or other accounts etc. And of course you can edit and do whatever you want. So let's jump back and then if I'm on the right and then slide to the left, I have other options right here. So I have full screen right here. Okay, not too bad. Slide again, full screen again. Now I'm not in full screen anymore. You have downloads, gesture, settings, share, and clear data. Clear data, it basically just clears uh, everything out. So as you can see, you have clear history, clear cookies, clear cache, clear passwords, or you can clear all data all at once. And taking a look at the bottom, you have your left button to go back to your previous page, the right button to go back to you know, your, uh, your your current page, you know, which is basically the next page that you were at before. Uh, you basically just have, this is your gesture you know, button right here. So you can basically just make some sort of random gesture so that way it indicates that it's operating. And of course you have your settings right here. We're not going to play around with that right now. And the app just crashed so I'll be right back. Alright, as I was really interrupted, <laughs> thank you iPhone. Um, <laughs> Let's continue on with the tour of this application right here. So what you have right here is your address bar. Now the address bar is basically where you you type in the link. YouTube.com, Twitter.com, Facebook.com. All right, you get the idea. And of course you have all your tabs right here, which this is what I really like because 
it has that Google Chrome familiar uh, UI. So I can add another tab by hitting this plus button and I can hit the X button to get out of the newer tab. Now, as far as the performance, the, they claim that this application is actually the, the fastest mobile uh, browser out there. Well, in my uh, in my usage, like the way I used it, I I found it very similar to uh, mobile Safari. Compared that to Opera Mini, Opera Mini was so much faster. And I did test out some websites, and I will put it on later in the video. But let me just show you guys how you're going to be experiencing this browser and please note this is on an iPhone 3G this is not a 3GS and this is running iOS 4.2.1 so for those of you that aren't familiar with this the iPhone 3G actually lags and slows down quite a bit ever since the 4.0 software update so there is going to be some lag that you will be seeing right here and there could be some slowdowns which if this claim is true that's probably because I'm using the wrong device that will which gives me the opinion that th this is very similar to mobile safari but so just be warned and whatever you see maybe it not but it might not be true when you're using it on the newer device all right so how does scrolling work well scrolling works exactly the same as mobile safari you keep scrolling and then it's going to stop uh, whereas opera mini you sc you scroll you only have to do it once and it's going to keep on scrolling and scrolling until it eventually slows down and then stop. This one does it too quick as usual. Alright, and as far as loading a web page, it, it's very similar to mobile safari. Now like I said, this might not be true. And of course this browser does not support Flash, so it's the same HTML format for the iPhone. There are some you know, browsers that actually support Flash. Maybe they convert it in an HTML format or it's the actual Flash. However, it is very sluggish and laggy. So the user interface, when you try to load up a Flash-based website, it's going to look very similar to if you were to load it on mobile Safari. Now, just showing you guys loading up a web page on the Dolphin browser itself it is not enough to prove to you guys my point so what I did was actually tested out a couple websites and the speeds were versus the mobile safari opera mini and then Dolphin and I had my watch with a stopwatch to, to show you guys the amount of time it took for those browsers to load up those websites I did uh, my YouTube channel, the desktop version, and not only that, I did Apple.com because Apple.com it does have some Flash-based content on there, and it it does work uh, in Opera Mini, and I'm pretty sure it it worked on this browser too. It 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 may seem a little laggy, so what I'm gonna do is cut it right here and then show you guys all the performance tests. All right, guys. So what? you are seeing right now is the performance test of my YouTube channel being tested on three of these browsers right here of course we have Opera Mini, Safari and Dolphin so we're gonna sit here and watch how these browsers do okay so Opera Mini actually won by 10 seconds so this was in first place Okay, and Safari loaded up in 20 seconds, and Dolphin loaded up in 21 seconds. Alright, now we are testing out Apple.com. Please excuse all the place of the wording. Um, Windows Movie Maker sucks in terms of that. So Opera Mini once again has won first place and it won in 8 seconds 
and Safari won in 13 seconds, and Dolphin won in 8. Alright, so after seeing all those performance tests, you can see that Opera Mini pretty much just uh, nailed everybody. And you, you can tell that Mobile Safari and Dolphin on this iPhone right here, uh, they're very similar in terms of the amount of time it takes uh, to load up a web page. Sometimes Dolphin will beat Safari and sometimes Safari will beat Dolphin. Uh, so, well, what can I say about this application? Well, first of all, it's free. However, if you wanted to get some of the features, uh, some of them you have to pay for. For example, there's this uh, feature called Dolphin Sonar. I believe that's the name of it. And it's basically you can use your voice to search for stuff uh, and basically just tell the browser what to do. Uh, and you have to pay a dollar for that. Uh, but in my opinion, this browser, it's okay, but I'm not too crazy about it. And someone I know actually told me that he used to use Opera Mini, but then uh, he switched over to Dolphin and felt that this was a much better browser than Opera Mini. Well, in my experience using this mobile browser, I don't see that's the case. Uh, however, this browser is pretty cool because I love the user interface. I believe it, it was a better well designed than, than Opera Mini. Opera Mini, it, it's great, but I just think the user interface, the UI uh, of Dolphin does look a little bit more slick than the Opera Mini. Uh, however, the look doesn't mean anything to me. It's the performance that I want because I'm the kind of person that's always like, okay, hurry up, this has to be done now. I felt that Dolphin wasn't able to uh, provide that for me. Instead, it provided me uh, uh, the same experience as Mobile Safari, which is why I left Mobile Safari and went to Opera Mini because it just wasn't cooperating with me very well. However, so would I recommend this application to you? Well, it depends what you need, you know. If you just want to go for the user interface, then fine, go ahead. But if you want the performance, I believe that Opera Mini is the best path to go. And besides, with Opera Mini, it's a free download. And any web page you load, it's pretty much going to load faster than this. Maybe it might take like, a while. Uh, but that only happens to me once a while. But most of the time, it is fast. And I am 100% satisfied with Opera Mini. But I'm not satisfied. Uh, well, I'm not 100% satisfied with the uh, Dolphin, I, which is why, like, I'm not gonna knock it off all the way and tell you guys don't get it. You know, you're gonna uh, waste your time downloading that, and then you have to delete it again. No, this is an okay browser, in my opinion. And you can have all this, uh, all these tab features if you want to. You can have an application that uh, kind of looks very similar to Google Chrome, or you can have an application where you can have all your settings on the sides uh, as you uh, see me doing them right now. So overall, if you want to get this application, fine, go ahead. The link is in the description below. But I will not be using this application on a daily basis. So I will be going back to Opera Mini right here. I don't even know if I'm going to keep this application on my phone. You know, we'll see what happens. Which Chances are, I'm probably just gonna delete it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, uh, whoever made this dolphin browser, but I just wasn't impressed, and I don't know. I'm just not too crazy about it. I'm a, especially. I'm not too crazy about a uh, Safari. Safari is. I'm not. I'm not gonna ramble on right here. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button if you guys like this video, and subscribe for more videos like this. And follow me on all my social networks. I will see you guys in the next video. You have a good day now and take care.